So in this tutorial, we're going to learn how we can upload an image using PHP. As you can see here, I have a very basic P uh, web page, and from here, I can click on choose file. This is going to guide me to the local disk of the PC, and from here, I can select an image, for example, and click on open. That's not uploaded yet. We have to click on upload button, and, and here it's telling that the no file is chosen. That means that the file uploaded, if you go to the directory of the www. Uh, WAMP WW image holder in image. I have created the image uploader and image by myself, but because I'm using WAMP, that's why that it's a store in uh, the WAMP and WW folder. So let's create it out. But before we start writing codes, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this one. Here I'm going to come and type the HTML. And before we start writing codes, here I have created uh, an image uploader folder in directory. As you can see at the bottom of the my, uh, at the bottom of my cursor, uh, seed WAMP WW and the folder is image uploader. And inside this image uploader, I have created another um, a folder called image uh, image. So after that, this we have this image that we uploaded by ourselves before. Uh, so. Uh, let's write its code. We can go get over of these things. And to upload that file, we need a form. Here, I'm going to come and define the form. And its action is going to be empty. And uh, its method is going to be uh, post. So I'm going to come here and say post. And we have to define something else ink type. Ink type. And the ink type enables you to. Uh, upload the file uh, in type multipart form uh, data so using this uh, you are enabled to upload a file if you didn't pass this in your form you are enabled uh, you you can't uh, upload your file so you saw that we have two input types uh, our, the first input type is going to be name and we're going to give it a name to we can access it using php so for example i'm going to call it uh, file and I'm going to define another input type so it's a type it's going to be submit so I'm going to say submit and we're going to set its value to upload so after this we're going to save it and test it out if it's work it's a, if it's html the index.php and our file name is index.php so I'm going to refresh it and you see that here is no problem and if I go here, I, I choose file and click on open and upload this. This is not going to upload the file for us because we didn't write any PHP for it. So here I'm going to come and open up the PHP tag for writing PHP. So I'm going to say PHP and we have to close it off this tag. And inside this, we're going to check if this, uh, if something is in this uh, file. If something is choosing in this file. So I'm going to come here and say if is uh, set and in this we're going to check for setting the file. So I'm going to say dollar sign underscore file and using this we can access or check if a file is uploaded and our file name here is file. That's why that we gave it a name to we can access it using PHP and after that here uh, for uploading a file we have a method called move uh, upload that file. So using this, we can upload a file, and it's going to take two parameters. The first parameter is the temporary directory or destination of the file, and the second one is where you want to upload this file. So here, I'm going to come and type the dollar sign file to give access to the temporary destination of the file. So I'm going to say give the uh, give access to the uh, temporary destination of the file to access that we're going to type file and here we're going to type the tmp uh, underscore name so using this we have access to the temporary destination of the file and uh, as a second parameter we have uh, the destination that we wanted to upload that file we want to upload that file in uh, here show me uh, WAMP WW image uploader and image because we already in an image uploader we don't have to type the image uploader so here I'm just gonna came and type the image uh, image actually and put the forward slash to point out to that and after that we need to get the file name so 
I'm gonna concatenate it. You know that we, uh, if if you wanted to concatenate concatenate something, it's a dot. So after that, we wanted to have access to the file name uh, itself. So I'm gonna say name uh, here name, and from the file actually the, this is the file name. So our file name here is the name, and to access its name, we're gonna pass the name here. So after that we have to put the semicolon. Uh, if you didn't know about the temporary destination, let me show you something here. I'm gonna comment out this. So here I'm gonna came and define a user, define function, call it pre underscore r, and here we get it that's going to accept an array. And after that, here I'm gonna came and echo out a uh, uh, pre tag of HTML, so I'm gonna came here pre and close it off, then put the semicolon, and after that, uh, we wanted to print out the details of this file. So here we're gonna pass this array again, so I'm gonna say array, and now we have to echo out, uh, echo out the pre tag and close it off. So um, pre. And now we have to pass the semicolon to. Now here we have to call this function. So I'm gonna come here and say free r. And inside this we're gonna pass the file. What is the details of this file? So I'm gonna say dot sign underscore files. Now we have to pass the semicolon to again. And now we're gonna go in a browser, refresh it. And for example, choose a file. You see that here it's giving us to some details. This is the file name, and uh, and this is the temporary destination of the file, which is a store in C1 TMP, and this is the file name. So now uh, everything is fine, I guess. So here we're gonna go and and comment this and save it. Uh, I hope nothing will be wrong. So. Here I'm gonna go and refresh it once more to make sure everything is fine and I'm gonna choose a file here. So for example, we wanted to choose this one and we're gonna click on open and press on upload and check the this. Here you see that we have this and we can go, uh, we have this file that we are choosing, we're choosing. So again, I'm gonna co go here and choose another file for example, and this one, and we're gonna click on open, upload, go to this folder, you see that we have this here. So this was from this tutorial, and I hope that you enjoy, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, bye.